Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Okay, right now I'm in Moonlit Grotto, which is Dungeon 3. I really like the music here. It's pretty dark and moody. Can't help but enjoy it. Let's see why I need to, to bomb that rock. Okay, here are some Pole's voices. You can destroy them with bushes. Just watch. Or, if you prefer a faster method, use the Harp of Ages. The Pole's voice does not like noise of any kind and instant kills them. Okay, now I got the map already, and as you can tell, the map layout of this dungeon is kind of like a crescent moon. Pretty neat, huh? Well, they did call this place Moonlit Grotto for a reason. They weren't going to make this place more like a grotto, were they? Even though it's practically all natural that it would. Still don't understand why I bombed that rock over there. But I did it anyway, just for the sake of doing it. Stupid mini moldorms. Okay, I see some kind of crystal over there. Let me destroy it for no reason, even though I don't know what it is. There was a loud sound far off, like something being knocked loose. That's what she said. Okay, there's an iron mask over there. Had to get it on its backside. There we go. Okay, hopefully I didn't mess up by destroying that s the crystal. The four crystals tied all together. Uh, tie what together? Well, I'll destroy the unknown just like most races do. Because I can. Let me destroy those rocks, too. For no reason! Hmm. Something tells me I'll destroy all these rocks. Let's see... I gotta get to that rock over there, too, apparently. Ah, yes I can. Should I have a means to get over to that crystal? Yeah, I should. There. Okay, that's two. Something tells me those statues play some importance. like line it all up to be symmetrical. Of course. Makes perfect sense. Usually whenever you see something that can be pushed, chances are it has to be symmetrical. It's always like that. Each and every freaking time. They don't even give you explanations or anything. You just have to assume. That's Oracle of Ages in a nutshell. And it can't, again, if you played a lot of Zelda games, you would assume it's symmetrical to begin with. Uh, wait a minute. Let me try going... yeah. If I go this way, I can be able to go up. Stupid pea hats. That was in my way. There's some like likes. They're here too. Okay, let's see what Mr. Owl has to say. Stone soldiers do not fear swords. Wow, that is very helpful information there, Mr. Owl. I got some advice from Kapora Gaybora's retarded cousin. He's all blue. So, if I can't use swords, maybe bombs will do the trick. Granted, this will take quite a while, because Armos Knights don't have a pattern. Instead, you pretty much have to throw blindly and hope for the best. Come on. Aww. Come on, your statues, you're not supposed to have common sense. 
Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Fine, I'll do the Al Qaeda way. There, I got a key. It was worth it. Okay, something tells me parts of the floor are gonna come up and attack me. Huh. Turbo power! Look at that. This is why a turbo controller is awesome. And a fast forward for your emulator. What's the point of all these bushes? Oh, wait a minute. See that one down there? It looks a bit different on the ground. That tells you it's a trap. Yep, I thought so. It's one of those bugs. That one is too. You have to watch for these things, you know. I see a chest. That one is the trap too. And that. I am not easily fooled, game. You'll have to try harder than that. All that for 30 rubies, wow. That doesn't count as fooling me, okay? And I still need a key. Okay, wait, I don't even have a compass either. Went everywhere around here, so something tells me I have to drop down. Stupid tectites. Everything in this game is stupid that tries to kill me. Even this mini Moldorm. Thanks for the fairy, though. That's not stupid at all. So, I heard you like noise! Well, of course you don't, but I don't care. Because I'm an asshole! And something tells me I can only go in one direction. Fair enough. This guy's still alive again? What's up here? Huh, it's another crystal. Gotta be the third one, right? Let me try going back down. Will this door open if I destroy this mini Moldorm again? I thought so. Now, apparently I'm gonna need to... There we go. I gotta deal with Mr. Armos, bitch, over there. Done. And just now I'm getting the compass. Took long enough. Where am I gonna get another key? Aha! Let's see. Blocks on the outside, flush against the wall. Three blocks not flush against the wall. Oh gee, I wonder what I'm supposed to do. There. Now I gotta head all the way back. It'll be a lot faster if I went this way. Would it? Probably hit or miss. As long as I get back to where I need to be, which is over in this direction. Like I know I can't go north, because that's one way. Just go west, and there we go. It's not hard. Just requires some thought process, but you get through it. In fact, that's what Oracle of Ages is all about, thought process. You're not gonna get far with just brute strength alone. You gotta put your thinking caps on. Wait. chest over there, but there's no means to get to it. Could this be connected to the crystals? Possibly. 
I'm starting to think that one in the back could have still hit me. But for some reason it missed. Thank you, Angles. There, now I can get in here. Huh. Some kind of torch at a distance. Whoa! Mimics! And mini Moldorms! It's a party! And I'm the only one invited, bitches. You got the dildo, I mean seed shooter. Pick your seeds, fire, and watch them ricochet. It's, it's almost like the seed slingshot from Seasons. Only a little bit more refined. Here, you can just hold and aim. You can even shoot diagonally, too. There. Pretty cool, huh? Something tells me I'm going to have to make immediate use of this. If I recall correctly, there was a crystal I could not reach. Which I believe is over this way. All I have to do is just aim at it. There. There was a loud sound for our legs. Let me knock loose and whoa! It's a big ass noise. It sounds like something heavy fell down below. Okay. Oh, that whole rotary platform. Now that's got knocked down. And I did all that for a gasha seed. So in other words, I'm practically done with the first floor altogether. There's still the matter of the bottom floor. Now, let's see. I can go south. Can I go east? Let me kill this mini Moldorm. Oh, no, I can't. Apparently it was a one-way. So let me go here, then. Yeah, apparently before you knock down all the crystals, this would be just one big pit. In other words, you won't be able to go far at all. Uh, let's do some torches. Oops. Okay, that works. That works, too! Another gash of seed! If I plant all these, I better get a one big-ass heart piece out of it. I didn't do all this shtick for nothing. No, seriously, I didn't. If I did all that for a gash of seed... Well, I can still go around this way. It's over here. There's a some kind of chest. I can't reach it. I'll have to go another way. Lousy pea hats. Mini boss. Ah, oh, it's a mole with a drill on its face. How cute! As long as I'm underground, your attacks don't scare me. Okay, not so cute. Something that tries to kill me. But you can use a shovel, shovel to dig it out. And repeat the process. Awesome. Okay, now let's go over here. Uh oh. Another chest. I believe I gotta do this. Wait a minute. That doesn't work. That did. Push it that way. And I don't even have the boss key anyway, so it's not gonna matter. That means I'm far from done. I gotta figure something else out. Like, I got a key, but what do I need it for? 
see. Can I hit that switch over there? Oops. Yeah, me that's better. Yeah, I have to get rid of these P hats, so they're gonna be a big inconvenience. Okay, I see what they did there. I need to switch to control this little mechanism. That way I can get to where I need to be. Wait. Could be something else over there. Ah! It's another chest. Well, that's only for 20 rubies. Huh, easy come, easy go. No, wait, 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 no, that's, that's good. There, I use my sword to cancel. where I can get the seeds. Wait, even if I did that... Huh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I figured it out. I think I know what this is for. This allows me to get to that room on the right that I couldn't reach. Now let's try... It still goes clockwise, so there we go! This worked in my favor! Now I gotta get to that switch over there. So in other words, I have to aim it like this. Presto. And there's the boss key! So now I gotta head all the way back. You gotta love backtracking, don't ya? You love it, don't ya? Good thing it's rotating the right way. Don't stalk me, Tektite. You know I'm not interested. Hehe, <laughs> you suck, monkey fuck. Admit, for a dun dungeon that has some minor complications, it's actually a lot of fun. If you think about it. Yeah, that's better. Time to take on the boss. Who is it anyway? Yeah! You cannot see who I am, for I am your shadow. Uh, no offense, but my shadow would not have a hay pile for hair! Or a rope for a belt. But anyways, this is a shadow hag, and I cannot attack it with my sword. So you have to use your seed shooter. Okay, he's gonna start spawning mafulas. Yeah, in other words, if you look at shadow hag, he will try to run. So what you want to do is aim it at the wall, so the seeds will bounce back and hit her. I don't like using the scent seed for some reason, it just doesn't seem so awesome. I'll use ember seeds, because I like flames. And I think I might have looked at it by mistake. Forever alone. If you wanted to get more seeds, you would just shoot at the mini mafulas. That's all you need to do. Be sure to jump over those shadows, because they hurt. Come on, stalk me, I dare ya. No wonder this bitch can't get a girlfriend. Or a boyfriend. I don't know, maybe she likes women? Who knows? And I get a heart container. Okay, I prefer to have my sword on A. It's a preference of mine. You got the echoing howl, an essence of time. It echoes far across the plains to speak to impotent, I mean, insolent hearts. Okay, so that's three essences out of eight. Making a lot of progress already. Meanwhile, Ambi's tower will soon be complete. Whoa, that was a lot of progress. 
Once Ambi's tower is done, history shall remember me as the greatest of queens. Aw, oh, all that's missing is the Eye of Sauron. That would have been awesome. Oh, looks like we got another cutscene. Banga! You have the Echoing Howl! But things are not going well. The Black Tower is nearing completion in the past. Terrible things will happen if you don't hurry. I hear an eso essence echoing from the peaks northwest of Lena City. Okay, why are there three ends there? Can you go? Okay, so I have to go northwest of Lena City. Peaks. That would be Talus Peaks. This huge fish washed ashore. It looks fresh and tasty. Red fish has a very exciting flavor. You <laughs> do. Uh, that that's Dimitri, right? Hey, what are those red seeds you have? Ember seeds? What an exciting name! Will you trade ember seeds for our fish? Mm, sure. It's a deal! I can't wait to taste it! Crack Munch Munch. Yeah, I wonder how this is gonna go. Hot! Hot! Aww. I was almost eaten! I'm Dimitri. I can swim in the sea. Are you going somewhere? I can give you a ride. I chomp when you press A, and I swim like a fish, even up waterfalls. You can even carry me using the power bracelet. Well then, I get to explore the water. So let's check out much of this area. With Dimitri, I can easily travel in so many places. I can fill in most of this map. Well, the parts around Crescent Island, that is. Yeah, I think I'll plant a gaseous seed over here. Okay, there's apparently one spot of Crescent Island I didn't fill in, but I'll do that later. We're here! You go alone now. Bye! Dick. Something tells me there's something important over there. I'm gonna aim here. Bullseye. Now, I got some business with you, Tingle. What's this? Look at all the mystical seeds you've gathered! Tingle the fairy can make it so your satchel can carry more seeds. Shall I? Very well. Then Tingle shall work his magic. Close your eyes. Tingle, tingle, kululimpa! Your seed satchel can carry even more seeds. Alright, now let's take a look. Yep, 99. It carries over. Okay, now I'm gonna stop the video right here, and next part I'll meet you back in Lena City. Goodbye, everyone.